Hi, I'm Tatiana, and I'm a sophomore from Burke. Where is your heart? And this is my poem, Grandma. Your voice was soft, yet had the power to move the mountains. You wanted me to heed your every word you had to offer. Every word, every story, every lesson. I remember many of your lessons, like how to choose chocolates. As you said, choose Russell Stobricks because that Russell sure knows how to make his chocolates. Mm -hmm. Oh, or when I'm able to drink, always go with light beer. That way I can drink more. <laughs> I still remember the time you took me for the day. You would take me to the store and give me some money and say, here baby, get what you would like. My eyes sparkled at the thought. I smiled and hugged you before turning and pulling your hand as I quickly walked to the toy aisle. Then suddenly, I stare at your smiling face with a blank one. Even as my family wept while lighting the candles that sat around the brown wooden frame that carefully held your picture, I just sat there. In that moment, I felt nothing. We held your funeral in our home, our home, and I still felt nothing. It was as if it was any other day. I was still alive, even though I tried to let death take me two months before it took you. The only thought running through my mind was about me. Why am I still here? I wish I was dead. What's the point of life? I was selfish. I only thought of how much I wanted to die. I never once truly thought that you're gone. Instead, I just sighed, looking around, seeing tears in everyone's eyes, except for mine. Was I wrong? Is something wrong with me? Mm, it doesn't matter anyways. It's everyone loses grandparents. When can I go back to my room? I began to grow impatient and, my, and annoyed, my, so my life shook as I zoned in on the black TV screen. It was as if I was watching yet another TV show that had no meaning in my life. I had no meaning. Even when someone asked, don't you miss her? I would only shrug and say, I guess, never once understanding the true meaning of death. Now, after almost five years, I look back, wishing I had wept, wishing I felt some sort of pain from her death, wishing I had said, Grandma, I miss you. Why did you have to leave, leave before I ever truly got to know you? Why did you have to die when I felt nothing? Why did you have to die? Grandma, I miss you. I'm sorry I never showed it but I truly miss the little trips to your house. I even miss your yapping buddy, Cody, who never let me near you. Grandma, I miss the little bits of confidence you would give. Like when you said, my baby's so pretty, y'all could be models. I laughed it off then, but I think you knew one day I'd need those words. Grandma, thank you. Thank you for accepting me, thank you for loving me, and thank you for guiding me. I know I didn't say much in our time together, but Grandma, I miss you, I love you. I can't wait to tell you my life story when I finally see you again and hear, there's my baby.